Arizona, what's up? Good morning. Konnichiwa, Ohio. Hello, everyone. You know, the past few months, I thought about something. You know, it's something I thought about. And this is more of a philosophy base. I'm starting to notice people think about money as if it's... Um, i trying to think. Um, as if money is something to gain when we should be focused on happiness and success. Yeah, it's it's good to have money. It's a yeah, it's not sinful. To my to my perspective. It's not negative. But what's really negative is I'm seeing these people online who are grifters online and these people say, Oh, look at how much money I got. Guys, I don't do that. I I, I do not respect people who do that. It's not about how much you're worth the how much you earn it's about, and this is how I view it, it's about how much you're giving yourself, how much you're putting your buy on the line, how much are you willing to put the effort in, in your job. Yeah, it seems, it's, I know, it sounds corny. I know. And this is just a little bit of motivation. And there's another piece of motivation I think it's something I think we all, I wish people would listen to the why I've said. It's not about, it's not about what people say about you. About what you say about yourself. Yes, your your biggest critic is your inner self. I mean, when 2020, 21, 21 came, actually I had that kind of thing about myself. Inner critic, you know, can I actually still have it in college and all that jazz, right? Well, I did. But the worst critics you have are people who have it's not just yourself, inner self. But you have people who are powerful and like basically higher up your level, right? Who are higher, more experienced and all that. And they'll criticize you for who you are. I know that sounds like me being petty, like I said. It sounds like me being petty motivation, right? And those kind of people will talk behind you, not respect you, don't care about you. You know, you gotta have to brush those off. That's something I have learned. I had to learn today. I had to start learning today as a fresh start for me. Which leads me to another piece of motivation. One more. One more of this today. And I hope Arizona, you all Arizona will actually will listen to. I'm very grateful, like I said, I'm very grateful that I at least have enough money to take care of. I'm I, I know money is a very and this is where I get to money and other stuff as well. Money can I'm trying to think of the best way to put this. Money can be the worst motivator to some people. I mean, I can be that way sometimes, but I can be that example. I get angry sometimes when we lose a game because I have so much progression for Arizona, right? You all you know that. And then we get messed up on a, on a play because all that. But money-wise, it's kind of like the same. You have people, and what, this is what annoys me the most, is that I see people get thousands of dollars, right? Or they win the lottery, right? And then you have these people who are proud and haughty. Not only this just makes you look bad. I'm not saying to you all, by the way. I'm not saying to you, Ashley, or anyone of you else. I think it's something that needs to be listened to. I think money, greed. Greed is one of the most deadliest things in the world. I have seen people who are rich, who... I don't want to say rich, but who are athletes in high school, and they say, oh, I want to become rich, I want to become famous. And I told them, like, and I felt almost fell into that trap. Thankfully, I lost the state ch- championship this state. I'm wearing this shirt. And I think God said, I don't want you to become rich. If older football players, yeah, they will. But, but I want, and basically God wanted me to be I don't want to be, like I said, I don't want to be religious. But what I'm saying is, is that fate tell me that that would happen that state championship game, that maybe that loss means something to me, that that even though it was enough, that it was not close, I was second. At least it tells me, it taught me that to be humble to where I'm at. To continue doing good deeds and that that there be a reason why. 
I mean, I don't know, just my way of worrying things. I don't know, my, my worrying can be dry sometimes. But this, to, but to basically my motivation overall today is put your, put your effort in. Don't give up and remember to keep your head high. Be the bigger person and if someone wants to be mad at you just for throwing an attitude at you and just throwing an attitude at you. Ignore the attitude, but also remember to look at the words. Look at the words, remember the attitude. And and yes, this it comes to your work, comes to this team, and it comes to everything else. And yes, I'm okay with listening to you all being honest with me. I'm I'm actually been less um angry with that. Because it's it's petty to be angry over stuff that is very factual. That's why EJ EJ if you're watching, that's why I said, okay, you got a good point. So, like I said, like I said, like I said, like I said, I uh, hope you all have a good day. And um, like I said, it's not about, it's not about me. This is a team. And I'm considering wanting to do the effort. Um, I'll keep showing these more. Uh, I'll probably next, probably tonight, I'll probably do another one. Probably talk about um, my thoughts just so far this season. So, Keep ahead of that. So probably be around in the afternoon. So 